How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Heavy Metal Diecast video and of course uh, we've got something a little bit different today. We have our first Air Command. Who knows it might be our last depending on how good these are. I have not opened one of these up before and so I do not know what the quality they are and uh, anyway who knows if we can find any anymore because these are long discontinued so if you do like what you see here today you have to uh, hunt on the interwebs for one of these so uh, these do look reasonably well in the box of course uh, 172 scale die cast as it does clearly say and uh, as I said these are no longer being made but there did seem to be if we turn the box over quite a few versions made in this uh, line and some very unique uh, camouflage schemes as you can see which does look pretty cool so who knows we might find one of these on the interwebs as well and uh, get one of these into our collection to have a little look at but it is no good in the box this thing is it so we better get this out of the box and have a look at our first air command uh, aircraft and uh, see how good these are and hopefully they will be all right let's uh, open this up and uh, check it out for ourselves all right, with this uh, Nighthawk out of the box, I did notice there was a couple of little screws underneath. So uh, I quickly unscrewed them before I thought I will do the video. So I did not look like a Muppet on camera. I can uh, do that quite easily without having those screws try and trick me. So with those screws underneath undone, we should be able to lift up this pretty cool F-117 out of its packet with great ease. And it comes out beautifully. And to be honest, the actual... Um, quality of this does seem very nice and of course black it's going to be a little bit of a pain to show you um, lines and colors well not colors but uh, the actual panel lines hopefully it'll come up nice in the camera because the build itself it actually looks really good and I actually picked this up pretty cheap I can't actually recall how much I paid for it um, I've had this for a little while I just uh, in my pile um, I'm slowly getting through that pile. It's hard when I do purchase more models. <laughs> the pile goes down and goes up, goes down and goes up. But the panel lines on this look absolutely awesome. And this wasn't very expensive. I, I got this at a relatively decent price. And for the quality, it does seem really nice. I reckon that comes up really good. We'll see if we can see along the side. This is, of course, quite an awkward aircraft to hold. <laughs> it's got the little skunk works on the tail, of course. That does look pretty cool. As you saw, this is how it came straight out of the box. So you'll notice it does have gear down. And to me, I think this will be permanently gear down. For those of you that do like to display yours in flight, of course, that will be a bit of a payoff for you guys. But for me, I'm geared down, so <laughs> doesn't bother me at all. But this does come up very nice. I reckon it's got some great detail. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it so far. But of course, you guys know me, I'm very easily pleased. If we turn it over, have a little look underneath. It does have a big red slot straight there. And it's got some markings. That's not an actual slot. It's just um, a decal there. That hole there will be from the um, screw from where it was held into the packet. And the same with that hole. There was two screws that held it into that foam packet. But it does have some really nice uh, bomb detail as well. That ordnance sitting in there nicely. Um, do the wheels roll? It does, does not feel like it. They are, they seem like they are in a permanently fixed position, of course. But um, look, overall, this does present quite well. Um, if you don't have an issue with it being geared down, um, you'd be pretty pretty happy scoring yourself one of these. And of course, if you do have one of these or any uh, of those other ones or anything from this particular manufacturer, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, this is my first one from this manufacturer and uh, I am very, very happy with it. I do think this does come up quite well. And uh, also, you do not get a stand with this either. So obviously, well, you don't really need it anyway, but um, it doesn't have any allocations for a stand to be able to be used anyway on the underneath of the aircraft anyway. As you can see. 
this is very good. I am pretty happy with it. Uh, yeah, definitely happy with it. It does come up very nice. It does look very good. Details on it are quite nice. Don't have an issue with it at all. We'll put it on the deck. Bang. We'll wind this video up for you. We'll zoom in a fraction quickly. And I reckon, surprisingly enough, this is quite good. These these uh, Air Command ones are very nice. I don't have a problem with them at all. They are very well detailed. I don't think the uh, canopy opens or anything like that. So nothing opening or moving or anything like that. No little flashy sort of little things. Just a good solid build. Straightforward. Gear down. Pull it out of the box. Plonk it on your desk or in your cabinet or wherever you display your aircraft and that is that done. So not much dicking around with this one. So of course it'll make for a bit of a shorter video so I will try not to waffle on any more for you. I will take some photos of this awesome looking uh, F117 of course and you can uh, check them out at the end of the video. And of course if you like this at all, hey throw us one of those if you can find that little button. And you know the deal, if you have yet to subscribe feel free to do that as well. And once again everyone, thank you so much for uh, spending your valuable time in checking out another one of our videos. I hope you enjoyed this uh, F117 video we did today or tonight or whatever time you're watching or wherever you're watching. And of course, thank you very much for spending your valuable time in watching another one of my videos. I really do appreciate it always. All right, guys, you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay safe. Cheers, everyone. <music>